Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about sterilizers as a part one to many other mommy related videos I want to do. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. The aim of this video is not to tell you that you should or should not sterilize. It's just to share with you all the information that I have come across. So let's first start with milk and bacteria. First of all, milk is the perfect medium for the growth of bacteria. There are a lot of bacteria involved, but the two main ones are Enterobacter sagazaki and Salmonella. Now I know these names are weird for some of you, so let's just call them bacteria that love milk. Most infections with these bacteria are mild, however, three groups of people should be really careful. The young children, the elderly, and those who are immunocompromised because of HIV or cancer or any other disease. The World Health Organization recommends breastfeeding, especially the first six months of a baby's life, and yet in the UK, by six weeks of age, already 79% of babies are either exclusively or partially formula fed, and the numbers are the same in the US and other Western countries. In one study, breastfeeding was associated with less diarrheal disease, even in infants above the six months of age. These effects were stronger in more deprived areas, and formula-fed babies experienced more diarrhea, especially if their bottles were not sterilized. Now, of course, risks not only include the fact that formula lacks the nutritional and immunological benefits that breastfeeding provides, but also there are errors in manufacturing, storage, and transportation of milk. Sometimes we tend to forget the most basic thing, which is to wash our hands before preparing the formula. As we mentioned, baby's immunity is not strong, so the bacteria on our hands will cause a great damage to them. So we have to make sure that our hands are clean before preparing the formula. The European Food and Safety Authority concluded that it is important to sterilize the equipment in order to avoid infection. There are a lot of ways of sterilizing baby bottles. One way is to place them in a pan of boiling water. This is what they used to do in the old times, and there are a lot of people who still do that. And based on research, this way is effective. There are also chemical solutions people can use, but based on the articles I've read, um, they do not work as well as the electric or steam sterilizing methods. Which brings us to the steam that I'm going to show you at the end of this video, as well as microwave and dishwasher sterilization. The problem is that there is no universally accepted answer to this question. I'm going to show you this table taken from this article. As you can see, in the UK, sterilization is recommended and methods are chemical and steam while in the US and in New Zealand, sterilization is recommended, but only for babies less than three months old. In Canada, equipment should be sterilized before first use, then they say check with the doctor. So as you can see, the guidelines are changing. Like for example, in the US or Norway, they recommend the use of dishwashers. But while I read in a certain research that dishwashers after a couple of uses start releasing plasticizers and it's no good to place your baby bottles in a dishwasher. This is the sterilizer I used. It's the Philips Avent. It comes in two main compartments and a basket for the dishwasher that I actually never used. The base of the sterilizer has a small plate in which you place the water. Just make sure it's not more than 100 ml. In the large compartment, you place the bottles facing down. This particular model can fit up to seven bottles. And in the upper smaller compartment, you can place the teats and the caps. You can use either the large compartment or the small compartment separately as well. As long as the red light is on, it means that the water you placed is steaming and sterilization is still in progress. After a few minutes, the light turns green, indicating that sterilization is over. However, it is unsafe to take out the bottles because they are at this point very hot. 
Once the light turns off, it's safe to remove the bottles. Make sure you have a rack to immediately place the bottles and the teats because it's very important to make sure that the bottles dry well because bacteria tend to thrive in wet areas. Finally, I place the lids loosely on the teats to keep them clean and allow them to dry at the same time. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment letting me know if you have used sterilizers or if you think that we should not use them anymore. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I will see you next time. Bye.